I could use some hey, new don't dogs. touch that. Not unless you think you're tough enough to track down the man I'm hunting. Everything I know is in that logbook. I'd find him myself if I had the money to get back on the waves. But for now, I'm just another landlubber selling tours. Ah, Captain Cat's Eyes. I see you've already settled in and started making friends. I don't want friends. But I want someone willing to drag that pirate pretender back to reality. Then he can have a long and meaningful conversation with the sole of my boot. Which won't happen unless you take the time to explain our situation. A while ago, I invited a pirate named Guy Brush Threepwood and his wife, Elaine, to celebrate their honeymoon here on the Sea of Thieves. You mean a fraud named Guy Brush Threepwood? Though I'd also accept liar, imposter, figurehead thief. Guy Brush accepted my invitation, but his ship never arrived. After a while, I began to fear the worst. So I began making inquiries in the Sea of the Damned. And found me stuck there, sailing in circles in my old glass-bottomed boat. Something that looked like it anyway. A memory of yours made real by the Sea of the Damned. In that realm, people and places from long ago can come back to haunt you, mingling with all the hopes and dreams in your heart. I fear that Guybrush has become trapped in memories of his own. Memories of a distant pirate sanctuary known as Melee Island. If he is not rescued, he will remain sealed in a dream world for all eternity, surrounded by fragments of his past. That is why I have asked Kate to recruit pirates who are both willing and able to broach the Sea of the Damned and save Guybrush. And then everybody here will see what a pathetic dope he really is. It's a good plan. Think they can pull it off? I believe they can. Kate learned of Guy Brush's whereabouts, but was never able to reach him. You will be sailing into uncharted territory. On Melee Island, things may be very different from the Sea of Thieves you know. Which is why you should take my logbook. But don't lose it. Once Threepwood has been rescued, I'm going to make him eat every last page. You should keep an open mind, Kate. Out here, enemies can enter the same tavern and depart as friends. When it comes to Guybrush Threepwood, I don't need an open mind. Only a closed fist. Well, don't just stand there. Sail through that archway and find Threepwood. The logbook I gave you has everything you need to know. No.
Oh. Dear Diary, wow, what an incredible end to an amazing adventure. I outwitted the evil pirate LeChuck, caused an avalanche, kinda, and lived to tell the tale. Even better, Elaine and I finally got married, and all of our friends were there too. I don't think we've ever been happier. Now all we have to do is set a course and begin our honeymoon, sailing on the Sea of Thieves. To get there, we have to pass through the Devil's Shroud. Elaine says it's no big deal so long as we follow the map, but I don't know. I miss seeing the stars. I had the nightmare again. I wake up in our cabin. Elaine is gone. And at the end of my bed, LeChuck is there, laughing at me. It's crazy, I know. I left him buried back on Monkey Island, but why does it feel so real? I can almost hear the laughter. But when I did get back to sleep, I had a very different dream. I was back where it all began, on my quest to become a legendary pirate. Back at the start of my very first adventure. No. enough. Oh my god. All that for nothing.
Ahoy there, stranger. New in town? <laughs> Why, this is the world's famous Melee Island, of course. <laughs> TM, of course. Some of the course. filthiest rogues and rascals you'll ever cross paths with. Though if I were you, I'd not stray too far beyond the village. The weather's taken an awful turn tonight. A stranger could get lost in that pea soup. Oh, plenty of places to spend your pieces of eight. Though I'd wager most will be closed at this hour. Except maybe the general store. That old skinflint never sleeps. Then there's the old jail, the church. But if you ask me, <coughs> there's nowhere better than this very pub. Why not sit for a spell and soak it all in? Man, come. Well, that guy just. What's going on here? Is that fresh meat I spy? Tremble, mortal, before the mighty skulls are skull. It's been longer than a rat's tail since I last set me sockets on a would be pirate. Though I could swear we crossed paths before. But never mind all that. You'll be here to undertake the three trials, I'll wager. The three trials! <laughs> Aye, that takes me back. I want to be a mighty pirate. Where do I collect me hat? Well, if you're here to prove your worth to us, too bad. <laughs> We're no longer in charge around here. I am what would be the point. There's not a pirate wannabe alive who could hold a candle to the legend of Monkey Island. No, please, not the speech again. The mightiest pirate ever weigh anchor! Scourge of the Caribbean, terror of the Tri-Island territories, master of a thousand insults! A man who could hold his breath for 60 minutes! Governor, Governor Guy, Guy Rush Greenwood! Greenwood. <laughs> All that toasting of the governor's made me thirsty. Time for some more grog. Grog, 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 grog. Back again? You're persistent, I'll give you that. Decided to chance your luck with the governor's guards, eh? Well, you can't miss the place. Head up through town and through the archway below the clock tower to find a cliffside path that'll take you straight to the governor's doorstep. You might think so, but the fact of the matter is that the guards will turn you away unless you've got an official invitation. Now, I don't know where you'd go about acquiring such a thing, but there's one particular citizen whose specialty is finding what you need. Back so soon. You've plenty of questions, I'll be bound. 
He may not look it, but Governor Threepwood has the strength and stamina of ten men. He's the champion of both our caper tossing and spitting contest. And when it comes to his skill with a blade, his insults have plummeted the sword master herself. Aye, that's a trick you'll get to learn if and when the governor judges you to be a worthy pipe. A devastating witticism delivered at just the right moment can throw your opponent off balance. We pirates have our pride to consider after all. Business to you have with us now. Speak up and be quick about it. I am Murray, the demonic talking skull. All pirates hear my name and tremble. Ha! Pay no attention to that blowhard. He left his marauding days behind, along with his body. At least I can remember my own name. Not like some other skulls I could mention. And one day I shall return to the waves to unleash a new reign of chaos. Sure you will. But for now, we provide what you might call the in-house entertainment. Telling jokes, hurling vile insults at pirate wannabes, and enthralling folks with tales of skullduggery and misdeeds. I'm just here for the insults. You stink, ugly. <laughs> We're still workshopping some of our material. Aye, that they be. They've got their own pirate lord nowadays. And his name is Governor Guybrush. Uh, I told you not to use his name. It gives me a toothache. You'll have to forgive Murray. He and the governor had a falling out a while back. Something to do with a missing arm. Missing? It was an act of theft and wanton dismemberment. And one day, I shall exact my demonic vengeance. Of course, these gullible fools may think of him as a legend. But I am not deceived. I have spent years plotting my retribution. However, the customers and I have formed an eternal bond. They will never let me leave, not unless someone can provide a replacement. Keep your greedy hands to yourself.
Try that again, and you'll be joining the devil for supper. Leave me be. I'm... that hey you shouldn't be back here because it's the rules that's why customers stay out front where they can't oh um right well i guess you can look around but don't touch anything I'm trying to work on a signature dish. I want something fiery and hearty. Tough, yet tender. Just like the legend of Monkey Island himself. Too bad I'm still missing one of the ingredients. Meat stew. When I can find the time to spice the meat, chop the veg, and add the special ingredient like I was told. Sure enough. The lady from the mojo shop stopped by before the governor's guards closed her down with a box of root beer sprinkles. She told me to add them to the grog and anything I cook to provide us all protection against insidious supernatural threats or something. Don't know why, but I hate to see good grub go to waste and they don't taste half bad, so into the cooking pot with them. Can't help you there. I've just hired a new assistant, and they should be starting today. Assuming they show up for work. I don't know what the delay is all about, but I hope they remember to pick up their uniform from the general store. I've had it reserved all week. Of course it matters. Cooking's a messy business, and you need to look the part. I just hope they get here soon. I'm rushed off my feet as it is. Soon as they arrive, I'm going on my break. Yeah, in the barrel. But don't think you can just go helping yourself. It's the expensive, extra-strong Governor's Special Reserve. I got a batch of it in stock in case the Legend of Monkey Island ever stops by for a drink. Think of all the tourists he'd attract. But you need a strong stomach for the stuff, or he'll be out cold before long. Anyway, forget about all that. And don't touch anything.
Okay. Sorry, but these items here, they're display models, not for sale. Hey, it's not my fault these Legend of Monkey Island action figures are hot property. My latest shipment got sunk down at the docks just as it arrived. Oh, then you need an exclusive Legend of Monkey Island meet and greet ticket, one of which I just so happen to have. Only one in existence. But I can tell just by looking at you that you can't afford such a sought-after item. Maybe we can work out some kind of deal. Tell you what, if you can bring me my missing cargo, I'll not only give you the ticket free of charge, I'll be able to sell you some other mementos. Deal? Deal. Sorry, but these items here, they're display. Hey, it's not my fault these Legend of Monkey Island action figures are hot property. I see. Oh, there.
Oh no. Alright. I did it. What freaking tool? I gotta go talk to him. I don't. Sorry, but these items here. Hey, it's not my fault these Legend of Monkey Island action figures are hot. Oh, then you need an exclusive Legend of... But I can tell just by looking at you that you can tell you what. 
If you can bring me my missing cargo, I'll not only give you a tool. You lost? Well, then you come to the right pirates. Well, yeah, then you're in luck. A ship full of valuables, of course. Even if you could find a way to raise its cargo up out of the water, there we go. Proper tools to crack it open. Such Some as parts of the town are still being renovated. Who knows? Maybe you can swipe what you need. Thank you, man of low moral fiber. Okay, I'll I'll go come back to you guys. Some sort of checkpoint I can save. I don't want to lose progress. That's my cargo. I thought it'd be fish food by now. Looks like I'm back in business. This meet and greet ticket will get you an audience with the legend of Monkey Island. Only one in existence, but I'd say you've earned it. So I'll touch up on saved to your quest inventory. Um, I'm gonna... No. Okay, well, uh, uh, it seems like it saved, so I'm gonna end it here. And hope that that's the case. Otherwise, I could figure it out pretty fast next time. So, fun. Pretty cool.